I'm ready to sign the papers. Papers. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the scene from Waiting to Exhale when Homeboy got his stuff burned up in the car because he kept right on trying to get that filthy McNasty where everybody thinking with his little head and not the big head, which is something we do. And I know Layla Rashawn is going through some of the same thoughts right now, like what the hell can she burn up from her husband? And so we're gonna just kind of talk about some issues that people overlook that happen when you get caught in these situations. And we're gonna follow up to a comment that you guys left yesterday, but first. On this channel, we always put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Cause I'm working on skilling this craft, bringing you a life gain in any chaotic situation. And man, this one is chaotic for Layla Rashawn. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Also, if you're new to my channel, the best way to navigate this dynamic YouTube channel, go to my YouTube homepage and just scroll through my playlist. There's something for everybody. We cover power. We cover financial issues. We do movie reviews. We do fitness. I'm still a currently a fitness trainer as well as a, a real estate investor. Check out my playlist. Some issues that go overlooked when these situations happen is family effect. Both of these people have family, they have kids, and those people get affected. Antoine Fuquay, a lot of people don't know, so it's important that you do know, has cheated on Layla Rashawn before. He has a side kid that he's currently paying $10,000 a month in child support for. He does have two kids with Layla Rashawn, and just think about what was going through their minds when all these pictures surfaced of him kissing someone that wasn't their mother. Next, we go to Nicole Murphy. Y'all know that chick spit out four babies, by I mean five babies by Eddie Murphy. What were her kids thinking when they saw this? Or maybe her kids already know. If you a dark skinned man and you married, you better hide yourself. I was just telling my wife this yesterday. I was like, honey, you better watch out. If Nicole Murphy come on tour here where we stay at, I won't be going to that concert because if you married and you dark skinned, she might come to get you. Like I said, Eddie Murphy, her and Michael J. White likes her. Now Antoine Fuquay, she's been with Michael Strahan. There was even an incident where she was at the Birdman during the time when they was dating Tony, when he was dating Tony Braxton, man. So she loved her some dark skinned dudes that are attached to somebody. But some of my posters was posting that, you know, Lamont, I know you said she looks too androgynous for you. She kind of got that Prince look. So for me, the poster said, it might not be her face, but it must be the ass. And I said, damn. But that holds true with men a lot of times, ladies. But the issue that some posters was talking about was that, you know, maybe he bounced because Layla Rashad got out of shape. Well, the issue with that is she has an autoimmune disorder and you have to take these type of medicines that really screw over your hormones, they screw over your metabolism, and they also cause you to retain a lot of weight. I'm a product of that. One of the reasons I was a fat child was because I was taking corticosteroids um, and that ballooned my weight up. And I will say this in her regard, yes, when you have something like that, all the effort it takes to lose weight, even if you don't have that, is super hard but times that with a hundred. And she probably wasn't thinking about restricting her food so she can stay in shape. She was probably just thinking about doing the best she can with her current disorder and trying to find some happiness. But I guarantee y'all, with her knowing that her husband had a side piece baby, and that is a constant reminder forever and ever and ever that you cheated, that probably didn't help. 
that probably had her stressed out. The man is paying $10,000 a month for that kid. And God knows, you know, she's got this disorder and she's dealing with that. And she's probably constantly worrying about him. All that leads to a big stress on her body, which she doesn't need with her current disorder. I will say that maybe this can be the catapulting point for Layla Rashawn. She, from what I understand, is a beautiful person. Um, she, she loves people, she gives to charity. We all wonder what was going on for this to happen the way it did. Look at what a poster left up for me. He said, Lamont, there's gotta be more to the story. And I agree, maybe Antoine was leaning toward leaving her the whole time. But like I told him, if that was really and truly the case, then why would Layla just all of a sudden like an OG pull her Instagram and pull her social media? It might be a situation where he was trying to announce to the world that he's done by letting people take these photos and she didn't even see it coming. Not in the way it did or she might not have reacted the way she did. So I think it's a situation where she didn't see it coming he was plotting this the whole time and decided that instead of just telling her face to face, honey, we're done, I'm moving on, I'm just going to let you catch me being kissed by the dark-skinned brother stealer herself in Ms. Murphy. I hope she uses this as an opportunity to get control of her health, get back on track, and move on and try to live a stress-free life. But I wanna know what you guys think. Leave me your comments in the comment section. Tell me how you feel about this situation. Tell me with Nicole Murphy, how do you feel? What are your real thoughts on her? And is she a thought? That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Go through all the videos on my playlist so you can see what this channel is all about. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.